we've been using the char at method. We're going to use a method called index of, which is basically the opposite or the inverse. It will take a character and return the integer value of the index. So let's go ahead, grape fruit. Now, if you have more than 10, uh, there's only 10 digits, zero through nine, what usually you'll see is you just start repeating uh, zero again, and you just have to know that that is uh, really 10. If you really are obsessed, you can go one, or no. What does grapefruits go with? Uh, I don't really like grapefruits. Grapefruits and a spoon. So if you read it vertically, I can't highlight it vertically, but this would be the 12th. This A would be the 12th because there's your tens digit and your ones digit. That would be the 12th uh, letter right there. The G is the zero digit, the one digit, two digit, etc. Okay, so let's, instead of running this whole for loop, let's just do some index ofs here. So we're going to do int index equals fruit dot. Now if I start typing in, there's several index ofs. So you can look for a string inside of a string. Uh, you can look for a character inside a string. You can also specify a, a from index or a starting index. Maybe you want to find the second or third occurrence. Uh, let's see, do we have some repeated letters? I hope so. We have multiple S's and multiple A's and multiple O's, but those are way at the end. All right, index, index of, you hit the tab key to select the one you have highlighted escape to close that up. So we'll look for the A. And we'll print out the index. Okay, index equals two. All right, we went for an A. Uh, I'm gonna switch this up a tiny bit so we can go index of so what we're gonna do is we're gonna print out the index of the actual char value we're looking for uh, and then another close parentheses equals and then the index and we run this it actually looks very nice index of a equals two uh, if we want to change it, we'll look for how many B, uh, where the B is. Oops, F6. All right, so what happened? There's no B, so it does need to return. Index of always returns you an in, uh, integer, and it's going to return negative one means there is no uh, letter uh, or string inside this string. All right, so let's go to uh, S, run that. Uh-oh. I put s in the wrong place. That's the variable. That is the letter. All right, so index of s is 10. There's two s's. So let's say I want to grab the second s. So I'm going to duplicate, control shift down. I'm going to call this index 1. I'm going to call this index 2. Uh, I just want to print out index 2. We already know what index 1 is going to be because it's on the screen. So it's going to equal 10. So I could do C comma 10. And that's where it will start at. Now, it's going to tell you, hey, I found an S at position 10. What you really need to do is add 1 to that. Here's position 10, 1, 0. That's the S. So you really want to start looking at position 11, which is why I did the plus 1 right there. Now, you might wonder, why did I not do 11? You'll see in a second. Let's run that. And look at that, 16. So where is that? There's the 16 is the second S, perfect. Okay, so why did I do that? 
I can put index 1 in there and then go one past it and find the second letter. So index of s, uh, this is, should really be second index of. All right, there's another repeated letter. It is r, so we can play the same game with r. Second occurrence of r is 6, agreed, right there. Uh, let's, let's do n. All right, I can see there's one n. Oh, there's two n's. I want to do one that there's only one. G. Perfect. All right, so what happened? Well, there was a G, and then we started at, our second search started here at position one, and oh, look, there's no more G's. So that's why you got negative one right there. So they're going to tell you right there, returns negative one. Uh, let's do a substring search now. String and, or string s equals double quote. You have to double quote strings. And now we're going to look for s. Um, I don't want that one anymore. Let's just run with index 2, index of s. All right, so we found and at position 12. Now if we do and s, it's going to still say position 12 because that's the uh, index where basically where this starts. So you can see the a is a position 12. And again, if you put something that's not in there, it's going to tell you again negative 1. And you could find the second occurrence. You could find the third occurrence by just doing index 3, etc., etc.